So, okay. All of these things are okay. We just need to decide and now we need to move forward. Hmm. When do we, what's our best estimate of when people will be allowed to go to a restaurant? I think it's, you know, again, getting back to what the people listening to this podcast probably care about most as we wrap up here in the in the second hour. Uh, and thank you for tuning into the All In podcast. David Freeberg is with us from, um, what's the name of your incubator again, your incubator David? Again. The, production the production board. board. The production board. Uh, previously, uh, metromileclimate.com. Uh, and Shamath Palihapiti of Social Capital Partnership. Um, when do we suspect people will be allowed to go back to work in the Bay Area in New York? When will people be able to go and have a meal in a restaurant? Do you think this is May, June, or July, or August? When will we I'll be give, out of quarantine? I'll give you, I'm going I'll give crazy. You my, I'll give you my optimistic, and, I'll, and uh, then we can give the final word to David. Um, here's my optimistic view. Please. Um, I'm I dying. Think that the, I think that the emerging evidence uh, will soon be hard to ignore that we have a denominator problem, which means that we're not testing enough, and that these IgG and IgM tests will come online at scale in the next two weeks, and that we will establish uh, demarked zones within cities and towns, green zones, if you will, where people who are either negative or who have already gotten it and have tested positive for the antibodies will be allowed to interact. So I am telling you that it's within uh, six weeks from now. Six weeks from now, we'll be in restaurants uh, and we may have to show our papers to somebody uh, to get in yeah. or have our foreheads yeah. tested. No, no, no. You just have to show your test result and have your passport uh, or driver's license. Yeah, I mean, I, I know this sounds crazy. I would much rather go to a restaurant in the next six weeks where I had to show my papers uh, a little bit draconian, sounds a little dystopian. I would much rather go back to Taishoken and have my goddamn ramen and show my papers and know everybody else did and then have everybody go through the, you know, uh, very simple um, temperature test on their forehead like I give to my kids when they're sick. David, you taking the over or the under at six weeks for when we'll all be at Taishoken having ramen? I'm, I'm taking the under. I'm taking um, April 7th or 8th. April seventh or eighth, uh, and we're recording this. I think on the seventeenth or the eighteenth. I think, and uh, so you're 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 saying we're just going to be whatever twenty days out. I too am taking the under, but barely. I think it's. I think we're four or five weeks. David, David, explain the under case just so, and we can end on that. But what's the under case? Because that's a great note to end on. Yeah. Yeah. So um, as we see the number, if you look at the UW Virology website, and I've shared this with people on my Twitter account, which I started doing yesterday, which is at Friedberg. Friedberg. At yeah, Friedberg. Uh, Friedberg. I'm not sure I'm going to stick with it. I don't know if I have the stomach for it like you guys do. But um, basically, they're showing you know steady caseloads of positives per day, which again is delayed. And if you look at the ICU availability, the emergency room wait time data, which I think are better leading indicators of where we are in the cycle. New York is about two weeks behind us. New York is going to be fucked for a little while. But I do think that the West Coast and with some travel restrictions is going to be able to reopen for business probably around April 7th or 8th because we're going to see a dramatic decline at that point and we're going to see a lower fatality rate than everyone is predicting and we're going to start to have measures around washing your hands and masks because you can't keep, stay shut down for that long without literally never being able to open again. So um, I'm kind of balancing the economic need uh, against what I think the data is starting to show. Um, that hopefully we, we are seeing the second derivative turning negative now. Um, and so we start to see a slowdown in new cases and then we see a, sl a reduction in cases. Um, and I think that, you know, th there's a huge distribution on what that model can tell you, but I feel really good about kind of April 7th or 8th, us getting enough confidence that, okay, it's safe to go outside again. And by the way, if we don't open up for fucking business, everyone's done forever. All right. So and that, that, that's, where, that's where I get the